So, uh, what I'd like to talk about now is the uh, second of the issues that the Supreme Court uh, will be deciding, and that is the issue of Medicaid expansion. So, uh, what is Medicaid other than an m and like object here on my, my chart? It's, it's actually a program uh, run by both the state and federal governments in partnership to provide health care for low-income uh, people and there's often a second requirement like disability uh, to have uh, uh, to, to be able to access the program. It's voluntary for the states, but right now every single state participates. So what's the expansion? Well, right now uh, most states have a, a smaller level of uh, participation. What it's going to do is that all people under 65, um, under 133 percent of the federal poverty level are going to uh, be eligible, eligible for Medicaid and the federal government is going to cover 100 percent of the program beginning when the expansion happens on January 1st, 2014 until it eventually lowers down to 90 percent in 2020. Um, we're expecting about 16 million people to be uh, covered by Medicaid. Now what's the argument? The argument essentially by the states is, is that that 10% when they eventually gonna ha are going to have to pay it is a really huge part of the income and the real problem that they've got is even though they're accepting 90% of this income from the federal government they're saying well this is such a large program we literally have no choice we are being coerced into accepting Medicaid. On the other side people are saying look you don't have to do it it's a voluntary program under your uh, definition of coercion, isn't Medicaid right now um, a, a, a program that can't uh, that they can't that is not acceptable? And so the Supreme Court is going to have to jump in and solve that issue. We've uh, signed up for a uh, with the the Bazelon Center, um, an organization that works on mental health issues, uh, on an amicus brief. And of course, Age United is uh, in favor of this expansion. Um, and what uh, uh, and, and I'll just add that I think it's important for people to know that there is also a brief that's centered around um, HIV/AIDS uh, that the National Minority AIDS uh, Coalition Council has uh, put out. And unfortunately, uh, Asian United wasn't able to sign on to that one because we've already signed on to the other one. And um, I think that's the most that's the information you need.